Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to create a controlled form. The last challenge showed that React can control the internal state for certain elements like input and text area, which makes them controlled components. This applies to other form elements as well, including the regular HTML form element. The myForm component, so here we have a component of myForm, is set up with an empty form with a submit handler. It's set up with an empty form. So here's a form. And here, this is the form. And then it's got an event handler. Uh, type submit, submit. The event handler, I think that's the submit button. No, on submit, we're going to do form.submit. Um, the submit handler will be called when the form is submitted. So when the when we do the when we t when we hit the submit button, we're going to call on submit. We're going to say this dot handle submit. We've added a button which submits the form. You can see it has the type set to submit. Type set to submit, indicating it is the button controlling the form. Add the input element in the form. So first off, we can just say we can add an input element. and set its value and on change attributes like you did last cha challenge. Okay, so we wanna say value is equal to something and then on change is equal to something. And we want the value to be equal to the, uh, the state, right? The input. So this dot state dot input this.state.input and on change we want it to go this dot handle change um, let's see the last one we could test it to see if it was working by adding uh, this dot state dot input and seeing if our form updated when we did that. Okay, cool. So this dot state dot input <clears throat> is now being automatically, as soon as we change the input, the uh, state is being updated and then we can call and see the state with each uh, update. So we can get rid of this P element because I think that's working now. Um, you should then come on change. You should then complete this handle submit method. So it sets the component state property submit to the current input value in the local state. Okay, it's to the current input value of the local state. So first off, we know we're going to be saying, yeah, okay, so we call the handle submit method on the submit. So we say um, this dot set state. And within here, we're going to add, we're going to pass in a object so it sets the component state property of submit. So we're setting submit to the current value, current input value in the local state. So whereas this last one we were doing event dot target dot value, um, but this isn't what we're trying to do. What we this this is actually what I was trying to do initially, and I couldn't figure out why this was wasn't working. And it was it was here. This is where my error was. The submit needs to be set to uh, this dot state dot input. So instead of trying to set it to the value, what we're doing is we're setting it to the state on of the input. So we're setting it to where the input is. So if I go ASDF, uh, let's let's do it again here. We can say uh, this dot state dot input, right? If I go ASDF R our input is no longer a space. Right now, after we're running this thing over here in the side project, our input is now ASDF. And then if we were to set state, well, we set the submit equal. We call this guy, this function, when we hit the submit button. When we hit the submit button, it runs into here and it sets the submit uh, this.state.input to the submit value rather than trying to set this uh, the event target because we're already adjusting that with the handle change one. Um, 
Uh, so yeah, run the test. Let's see what's going on now. Okay, it looks like we've got some sort of a big time error. I'm going to get rid of some stuff. This.state.input. I'm just going to, oh, yeah, I'll get rid of his, this guy. Oh, we've got everything working except for one. My form should rent return a div element which contains a form and an h1 element. And an h1 tag. So it wasn't rendering for whatever reason. So uh, the last thing it says finally, oh, we need to, also you must call event.preventDefault in the submit handler to prevent the default form submit behavior, which will refresh the page. Okay, so usually if you submit forms, then it refreshes the page, but we don't want that to happen because we have a front end framework which doesn't require us to do that. So in order to avoid that, we need to add event.preventDefault uh, into here. And so now we should be able to do ASDF. Huh, what's going on? Okay, so right now something's not working. Okay, everything's rendering. Um, let's see, the last thing we need to do is create an H1 tag. H1. And after the form, so this is the full, oh h1 tag after the form which renders the submit okay this is the form and then this is the div and we want to put an h1 tag within after the form but within the in within the render div and we want to render which renders the submit value right so this this dot state dot submit and then you can type in the form and click the button or pass or press enter and you should see the input rendered on the page. Cool. So useful programmer, I just entered that and it's been in injected in here and now it's saved. So yeah, I think that this is working. Okay, so that's the answer. Uh, let's see, we'll go over it again. So we have a my form component. This, so the whole thing is the form and it creates a object in which we have a state we have also two functions um, on the object which gets created. A handle change method and a handle submit method, method or function, whichever you call them. And then within this, we define the handle change and the handle submit. The handle change says that every time this method's called, we set the input to event.target.value, which is the result of this guy. And you can see right now, if we were to check state, our input would be useful programmer with an exclamation point, but with the submit, it would be still useful programmer because we haven't submitted. Once we click the submit button, because the submit button is part of a form, so we have a button that says submit. When we submit here, it causes the form to trigger, and this triggers this dot handle submit, which is this function here. So we render, we uh, execute the handle submit function which takes in the event. And so we want to do event.preventDefault, which makes it so that the um, form doesn't refresh itself. And then we say this.setState, and we set, because of the state here, at the time of doing it on the first one, your submit is blank, but your input is whatever you put in here. Here we say this.setState, so we set the state of submit equal to whatever our input value is at currently. And then with this change of state, the form updates and that causes the, you know, the, the function being triggered by hitting the submit button to be completed. And then we're just back at this point. And so for here, my input is with an exclamation mark and my submit is without. If I click the submit button, then my submit has that and my input is still the same. And so, yeah, I hope that is helpful. Um, this React stuff is pretty challenging. So if you can understand that, uh, that's great. I still struggle with it. I actually jump offline for a second and figure these things out before I make these videos because I actually can't just blast through this stuff anymore. So I'm not a huge React guy, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.